Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very long time since I have posted a video, probably a few years now. Um, I just really wasn't able to for various reasons, um, but now I am in my own home again um, where I can decorate and do as I please. So I'm thrifting again and slowly trying to make our new home um, what I want it to be. So, um, I just wanted to share a free slash thrift haul video because some of these items I'm going to show you at first were given to me or gifted um, because people, some people know that I like to collect things. Um, so, I'll just jump right in um, and I'll show you this moon glow little candy dish with a lid. Um, this was gifted to me. And it's just a cute little tiny dish. Actually, this is weirdly what I keep Chloe in. Some of you might remember her from my old videos. Um, she unfortunately passed away, so I keep her on my nightstand in this pretty little dish. Um, I was also gifted these crystal goblet glasses. I have a set of four. Also with those, I have a set of six of the glasses, and I actually have four of them on um, open shelves that my husband built that are in our kitchen. Then this cut glass salt and pepper shaker set. These were my mom's. Um, I do not have these out right now because I'm actually about to get my mom's hutch here soon. Um, and probably make it over and make a really pretty um, little display of all my vintage dishes in there as well because I no longer collect Ray Dunn if you're from on my channel from years ago when I used to collect a lot of Ray Dunn. Um, I really have maybe 10 mugs now and a few holiday mugs but I've purged and got rid of most of that stuff. Um, I just grew tired of it. But um, I was also gifted this little crystal candy dish, maybe ashtray, um, and I just keep our keys in it right now. Um, I have on a little table in here that I actually thrifted, and I just put everything down in there. Out of my husband's pockets, he just throws it in there. Um, these were my mom's as well. It was a set of three of the refrigerator dishes by Pyrex. And this here's one of the little bigger ones. I am actually already using one of the smaller ones. Um, I repurposed it and put a plan in it a while back, and it's been doing pretty good in there. Maybe not this one, but this one I've been using that for. Um, that is everything that I was given or gifted. Um, and now I'll show you what I've thrifted and what I found at the thrift store the last few months. Um, Starting with these milk glass swirl teacups with the gold rim. Um, these are anchor hawking. I don't know if you can see the marking on the bottom. But I have um, five of these, I believe. But my husband actually found these when he was with me one day. So, again, when I have a hutch, I'll put stuff like this in there. And I also found... This is one of the first things I thrifted when I started back into thrifting um, a while back. And it is also anchor hawking from the 1960s. And it's just my amber ball pitcher. And I actually have this on my floating shelves as well beside the glasses at the top. Um, I just think this is really pretty and I hope one day I can come across the cups that go with it. And also glassware. As you know, we are Panther fans. Um, I come across this at Goodwill. And it's the old logo from the 90s. And I only found one of these. I wish I could have found four, at least a set. But I have um, this I'll put up because we do plan on doing a Panther room on this house as well, like we did our old house. So I'm collecting more Panther stuff to put in there to display as well. And then I found this cute, let me see if you can see on my back, the accordion rack. Um, it was more of like this lighter color. You can see where I kind of stained it. I did classic gray and it turned out 
this warm color and then the little pegs they went a little bit lighter um but i'm thinking i'm going to put this at an entry and maybe put the keys on this or maybe in the bathroom to hang towels maybe hang it in the kitchen for aprons or oven mitts i'm not sure yet um, but this was $2.99 let me tell you the picture was $3.99 um, and I have this on our dining table right now, but I think you can see it. This candle holder is just like a matte black. And I'm going to get some, um, flameless candles from Amazon. I think I'm going to put it in the fireplace right here, especially at the holidays. I think that'd be really pretty because it's got this really cool curve design. And I paid $2.99 for this. I got this today. That's why I look like this. I was out thrifting and it's raining. But just a rolling pin because again, I'm looking for stuff to go on my hutch. Um, and this was $1.99. So I clean it up. Maybe put it on the hutch. Or um, maybe I'll put it in my crock. I'm not sure yet. I found this the other day. I just thought she was so cute. Just a little vintage witch. She was $2.99. And it's by, I don't know if you can see it. It says Judy Nichols or Nicholas. Um, but it's actually, when I looked it up, it says it is a jar lid. I don't know if a jar come with it maybe back then. Um, but I'm just going to sit it up like this on my shelf at Halloween time. Either on my open shelves or um, on my hutch. I just thought it was really cute. Just all the little details and She's really pretty. Um, all of this was found at Goodwill too. This is where I found everything. I found this vase. Um, the same guy I found that picture. Uh, this was, I think, $3.99 as well. And then I got this little granary from Walmart. And I actually have this on our dresser in our bedroom. And just a cute little basket. I always love baskets if I know I can do something with them. Um, but I've cleaned this one up and I actually keep toilet paper in it on the back of our toilet. Just thought it was cute. That was 99 cent. And I have been on a cookbook thing lately um, because I'm thinking I, I have a few cookbooks in there but I want to find the vintage or antique cookbooks and start displaying them. Um, so I found this this morning. It's not in the best shape, but it was just so pretty that I just couldn't leave it. But you can see the spine is really damaged. But I looked it up. I said it was from like 1968. Um, the inside's in decent shape, but you know, besides the spine, I'll still use it. I thought it was pretty. This one is not old, but it is actually, it has like an old look, but it is something I will use. Just the Campbell's Classic Recipes. But it had some really good recipes that I would use. So I went ahead and got that. And then this cookbook, Make It Easy in Your Own Kitchen by Lori Burroughs Grad. Um, I just thought it was nice. And what made me buy this is now I've been checking the spines of books that way but so i'll probably take the sleeve off and i'm just gonna display it like that just so you can see the pretty colors and then i also have these i, I like these little books i have a few of these um the older ones from better homes and gardens the homemade cookies cookbook i know i have some christmas ones of these but i just thought it was really i love old cookbooks i just think they're so neat I like to look at the, the pictures and then, you know, the old glassware and china and everything they've used. And then I also got Good Housekeeping, Best One Dish Meals. Again, this is one I got because, you know, I'll use them, but it's also prettier when the cover, the sleeve is off and you can just see the design. I like the little pop of gold. I thought that was pretty. Um, and that is everything I have for now. I do have a good bit of Christmas I have been finding 
are gifted or that was my mom's. Um, so I will share that in July and I'll probably share another video here soon of what I find. Um, so if you like these videos, please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.